Hello and welcome to the second part of our ultimate helicopter comparison video. In this video we want to discuss the damage output of all the helis in BC2, BF2, BF3 and BF4. It should be noted that we do not take a look at the armor or the survivability as well as the general maneuverability. This is because our planned third part of the video series is going to be about the maneuverability and the first part was already touching on the agility. In case you haven't seen the first part, you'll find the link here. Just like in the first video, we were only taking a look at the US helicopter, which is simply because it is the most popular within the community. Moreover, it would be an insane amount of work to make all those tests with three different helicopters for all parts of the franchise, so we hope you understand that. Looking at the history of the franchise, all the attack helicopters had more or less three different weapon systems. This includes the rocket pods, a machine cannon and a anti-tank missile, although in BC2 this was only a specialization. This is why we're going to divide the following tests in those three main categories plus a category for rare weapons. First of all, let's take a look at the rocket pods. The following tests have been performed. Direct damage as well as minimum and maximum splash damage against infantry. Damage against an MBT on all the different sides plus how much damage an entire magazine of the pods would cause. Direct damage against helicopters and jets. The magazine size plus the entire payload of ammo that's being carried. And in the end the maximum range of the pods. It should be noted at this point that for Battlefield 4 we tested all the three different rocket pod systems to get a proper and detailed picture for this weapon system. Moreover, we did only test the MBT as a ground target because this is usually the most heavily armored if you ignore the m track and so on at this point. For the suppression of infantry, the BF-2 helicopter is by far the most effective within our test field. Here you usually only need one bullet or maybe two bullets including the splash damage to kill one single infantry. In comparison to the other titles of the franchise, the BC-2 and the BF-4 helicopter are on par when it comes to the direct hit damage model, but looking at the splash damage there are some varying results. Looking at all the different headies from the franchise history, you will find a splash damage model of roughly 11 to 20 against infantry, which is a lot less than in BF2. Regarding the damage against an MBT, it doesn't actually look so much different and the BF2 headie is very strong again. Here, hits against the side or the rear are actually not differentiated, but nonetheless a single bullet does 18 damage. This means that every tank can be regarded as a 5 to 6 hit kill. In contrast to that, you will not be able to kill a tank with only one magazine in any other title of the Battlefield franchise. The thing that comes closest to the destructive power of the BF-2 heli is actually the BF-4 helicopter, but this is pretty theoretical because in order to kill a tank with one magazine you would have to hit seven Zuni pods with a 90 degree angle in the rear armor. It should also be noted that the BF-2 heli pods cause no splash damage whatsoever. This is where the BF-4 heli with the Hydra pods actually wins. This is because for the Hydra weapon system the splash damage is actually equal to the direct hit damage. A hit directly on the tank or right in front of the tank does 6 damage. Using the Hydra pods, pilots that maybe don't have perfect aim with uh, the pods yet can still deal up to 70 damage with only one magazine. Looking at the direct damage against other helicopters, the BF-2 heli actually does not win, but the BF-4 heli with its Zunipods does, which cause up to 29 direct damage. Directly after that, we can find the BF-2 heli on par with the BC-2 heli dealing 18 damage for a direct hit. And in the last test, looking at the damage against jets, the BF-2 heli is on top again, dealing up to 50 damage for a direct hit. Just like the damage values that can be achieved against MBTs, uh, no other heli comes close to those values. Finally, it should be noted that the BF-3 heli with 14 shots in the magazine for the pods and, as you all know, unlimited ammunition clearly wins in this category. Because of 3D spots and unlimited range that the pods have since Bad Company 2, an exception are the BF-4 smart rockets, helicopters can basically snipe across the map 
using their pots. Now let's take a look at the machine cannon. Here we did the same damage tests that we already did for the rocket pots. Here we did not include the technical maximum range but a personally defined maximum effective range. This maximum effective range is the range where we were unable with the entire magazine of 30 bullets to kill a single infantry being a potential stinger source. Moreover, we used the burst of an entire magazine as reference here. This is because the BF3 and the BF4 headies are, are very effective at killing jets with the machine cannon and this is why we think it is more relevant to look at the time to kill instead of the damage that only one bullet deals. Because the BF2 helicopter needs only one direct hit or a very close splash hit to kill one infantry, it wins in this category. A fun fact, at this point, the minimum splash damage of the BF2 heli gun is actually the same as the maximum splash damage of the BF3 or BF4 gun. To be fair though, it should be noted that considering the direct hit damage, the BC2 heli isn't so far behind the BF2 heli. If you hit the head, you can also deal one-shot kills with the BC2 heli gun because a body hit only does 80 damage. Looking at the maximum effective range for killing infantry, we get totally different results. Here, the B3 heli is clearly on top, being only limited by its gun range of 1150 meters. When firing the B3 heli gun with small bursts, it becomes laser accurate. With quite a gap in between, the B4 heli is second on the list. Because of its relatively high spread, it is limited to roughly 700 meters effective range. The BC-2 helicopter, on the other hand, can be regarded as more or less stationary because it can only spot targets up to 350 meters. In case targets are further away than 350 meters, then a helper is needed for the spotting of those targets. In combination with a spotter, the BC-2 heli comes close to the BF-4 heli, having an effective range of 650 meters. In this category, the BF-2 helicopter clearly loses, and this is because the game engine fades out enemy infantry at a range of 200 meters. Killing said infantries by just looking at the minimap spot is nearly impossible. At this point, it should be noted that all those tests have been performed with the zoom perk. This means that, for example, in BC-2, we would not have been able to carry an ATGM. Other optics that would have been available for the different headies would have been um, zoom, thermal and IRNV for BF4, zoom or thermal in BF3 and only zoom in BC2. Testing the damage output of one entire machine cannon magazine against an MBT, the BF4 heli wins. Here, depending on the hit zone, between 41 in the front and 100 damage in the rear armor can be achieved. Looking at helicopter duels, the BC-2 gun was surprisingly good. Here we were able to kill an enemy heli within 53 to 60 frames only. Roughly one more second is needed for the BF-4 heli gun to completely destroy an enemy helicopter. In this category, the BF-3 helicopter clearly loses because you always need two magazines and it is more likely to actually shoot the crew out than to destroy the heli. For fighting off enemy jets, the BF-4 heli gun is actually the best out of all of them. An enemy jet is usually shot down with only one magazine, which takes about two seconds. Sadly, we could not perform this test in BC2 because, as you all know, there were no jets in this game. Because the BF2 heli gun usually deals only 25 to 30 damage against an enemy jet, we were sadly not able to consistently measure a time to kill in BF2. Looking at the ammunition payload, foot soldiers in BC2 and BF3 better not hope for a soon coming ceasefire. Even though the BF-2 heli carries 900 rounds of ammunition, usually you run out of rocket pods and or TV missiles sooner. 